Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and that's right. Remember when we were talking about that Cantina HasLab, and I was saying, I don't know if I have the space for this, how could I display it? Um, and then they did their video where they broke it up and they showed you how you can display it on a whole bunch of different shelves. Well, here we are again, and you know, Mythic Legions, or at Legions Con, um, they announced that they were going to come out with this massive dragon, and it looks awesome. I got to tell you, the pictures of it are just incredible, the details on it. But I just want to talk about the size for a minute, because um, if you look at like the size charts and stuff like that, I just don't know how or where, like... I could put something like that. Um, you know, I passed up on the Rattler because three feet by three feet I thought was like a little bit big, but you know, you, the wings folded up and stuff like that. And there were options, but this dragon does have an option. Now it's supposedly 54 inches from head to tail, right? So that's one arm, one body, and a little bit length with the tail expanded. Now you can wrap the tail so you can get rid of some of that space and have the tail wrapped around the dragon, which is cool. And then there were some different positions where you could put sort of like the head in an upright position. And then I kind of like heard that maybe getting that forward tilting head was an option. And then getting the upright head was like an option. So I don't know if it's like different head next or whatever, but what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd take my sentinel here and just kind of put him in the dragon pose. <laughs> I just got him in the dragon pose. And then if we look at it, this guy's only 22 inches. So the thing is, you got to get like a little bit more because in the with the tail wrapped, you're looking at 30 inches. So six more inches going this way. And then, uh, nope. You got to go way up here, so you're like up here, right? So that's how big that dragon is. It's incredible. So I don't know, like, if you're like me and you have, like, um, space limitations and stuff like that, could you get something like this? Or would you get a dragon like that and just completely get rid of stuff so that you could make room for it? And then tell me, how would you display this thing? Because as incredible as it is, and how detailed it looks, and how awesome it would be to have a really cool articulated dragon, and I guess if you're a Mythic Legions collector, like really, really a Mythic Legions collector, or you like that like genre, and that's your collection and stuff like that, then yeah, that could be really like a centerpiece and stuff like that. And I got to be completely honest, it looks really cool. And we were debating the size and stuff like that. It looked like what they had on the show floor was like two different size wings. There was a bigger wing and a smaller wing. And they talked about it and stuff like that. And they said that the, the reason why is because the smaller wing, you know, was able to be articulated and stuff. And then they had like a little working model and then they had their like kind of production thing. So they showed off the working model and how the articulation was gonna go. And that was kind of like the design one. And it looked a little bit smaller than the other one. Now they did talk about a crowd fund and they didn't necessarily say it was a Kickstarter. They sort of mentioned that it was probably gonna go up on their website for like a pre-order, but that it wouldn't be like something like a release that had like a ticker or something like that on there. So you can see how many uh, units got sold and it was going to be something maybe like a has lab is how they describe the it. plan right now is to offer it on source horseman a more like a has lab campaign than a kickstarter uh, and um then it said you know like the more units the more uh cool stuff might get added into this thing now it looks really cool and it looks like it's going to have some fantastic articulation but I'm just curious to know how many folks who are watching this video are concerned about the size of something and how many big gigantic things can you actually have in your collection before you're impacted? Are you already there? And would you be willing to like weed out a whole bunch of stuff just to get a super cool dragon? And then let me know what you guys think your price point is because that dragon looks really awesome. That Super 7 Dragon I thought was way overpriced at like the $300 or whatever it was. So I'm curious to know what's your price point here. I'm thinking that Dragon's got to be four or $500 um, just because of how 
big and how cool it is. Now it's not gonna be fully injected molded. It's gonna have like hollow body probably and stuff like that. And it's gonna save on weight and cost and stuff like that. So it's possible it could be a little bit less. But tell me what you guys think in the comments. What do you think the price point's gonna be? And do you have space for it? And are you willing to make space for it? Because you know what? Things have been getting really cool for collectors and this is one of them. I just wish that I had a little bit more space and I hope that is very affordable. Anyways, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments what you think. And as always, have a fantastic day.